this is New Centre and this is our second hour of the show. Thank you very much for all the comments that I'm seeing on my Twitter handle. We'll continue with that political conversation in a few minutes. But for now, I want us to cross over and speak to my colleague, Francis Ontomo. Francis, thank you very much for joining us. He is attending that uh, annual judges' conference. Uh, Francis, so maybe you can talk to us about that, this range of issues that uh, this conference is uh, all about. I will bet you this uh, annual conference this time around comes only some 30 something days to the general election, making it quite important as it is a matter, a, 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 a really a forum to, so to, 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 to introspect and uh, to look into the elections. And most importantly, and what has been given a lot of focus here has everything to do with the elections, the dispute resolution. And that is a matter that is, uh, has already featured in this particular meeting during the opening session and also expected to continue featuring largely here. And this this meeting, as you had alluded earlier on, brings some 160 judges uh, of, the, of the judiciary and, of course, coming from the Supreme Court, the High Court, the Employment and Labor Relations Court, the Environment and, Le and Land Court, all trying to put their heads together on an array of subjects here and largely uh, the elections are being given a lot of focus. In the 2013 general election, bet you will remember that there were some 188 cases that featured uh, in, in, as, as election petitions during that particular year and this time around analysts are actually projecting that the number is expected even to get much higher uh, in, in, after the elections and that is a matter that is given a lot of focus here of course putting the heads together trying to find uh, the best ways uh, way forward actually to try and tackle this subject and that is what will be featuring uh, largely here the senior most uh, member of the judiciary present here is Philomena Mwili the deputy chief justice and tomorrow uh, justice David Maraga will be making his way here of course to officially open this session that is expected to last uh, the, uh, the entire week. Of course, this is going to disrupt cases in court, but uh, the judiciary says they have a way of uh, really uh, getting into uh, into picture and really uh, ensuring that things flow seamlessly so that uh, things are able to be dispensed at the right time, uh, Betty. All right. Uh, the president of the Court of Appeal, Paul Kihara, made a very interesting uh, speech earlier on. Maybe you could give us the highlights of that and, uh, you know, what exactly we're expecting uh, Chief Justice David Maraga to speak about having released sort of like a scorecard for himself uh, just a few weeks ago. Uh, well, uh, there was a huge highlight, of course, uh, on uh, a court of appeal, uh, Kehara Karaoke, of course, speaking on an array of issues. But most importantly, uh, he talked about the elections uh, being a question that could rock the country if not handled amicably and if not handled carefully by the judiciary. And he asked, of course, judges to try and uh, handle election petitions in the best way forward and to try and galvanize the country into one, uh, saying, of course, that uh, uh, if they are not handled very well, the may rock the country and that was of course an appeal that he reiterated and he made a lot of uh, and he actually made a lot of uh, uh, insights into that and uh, that is what really stood out for me uh, when uh, uh, Karaoke Kihara was speaking here. David Maraga is expected tomorrow and uh, by and large of course the question of our elections will not uh, really depart from his, from his speech and we expect him to give largely and of course to tell Kenyans how prepared the judiciary is in trying to in going forward into the election and how they'll be handling elections dispute as a whole and of course uh, a lot of expectations uh, of course uh, there, there, there has been the question of the faith that Kenyans hand, has in the independence of the judiciary that is a matter that is also expected to feature in this particular forum and of course there has been a general appeal from the judges who have spoken in this forum to try and spark some sort of a, a faith and confidence in Kenyans in, in the judiciary so that uh, when they handle these disputes when they handle all issues uh, touching on the elections Kenyans can have some faith and sit back and say, yes, uh, of course, justice has been dispensed, Betty. All right. Thank you very, very much, uh, Francis and Tomo. They're reporting uh, from Mombasa about that annual judges conference that uh, began today. Thank you very much, Francis, for that. Let me also bring in my colleague, Jeff Kirby, joining us from our city centre studio.